Good evening, everyone. Tinker and Bruce here. Welcome back to the channel, and I know I got it set up real close here tonight. So anyway, what I'm doing here this evening, I've got this picture frame piece made, and that'll give you a pretty good view of what I've done. You can see the little grooves I've got cut down through there. That'll be on the front, that's the decorative. And we've got this groove here in the back that the picture itself, the picture itself will set down in that groove, like so. And then with a piece of plexi, and then with a uh, piece of masonite on the back. So what I'm gonna to do tonight here, I've got my router table set up. I got my um, shop vac hose set up to it. I got a bit on here. We're gonna try this thing and see how it works. And uh, we're gonna see what we got, but I'm gonna put, this will be the inside of the frame right here. I'm gonna round this edge off just a little bit. So it'll give it again, a little bit more of a, a de decorative type look. So I'm gonna turn the vac on and we'll see what we got. <laughs> See how it's rounded that edge off there? It's gonna be next to the frame. So again, it, it's, it's taking a little bit off of that edge, rounded the squareness off. And to show you what the other pieces look like. See, there's the square, square edge right here versus what we've done here with the router. We just simply smoothed that right off is what we've done. It's leaving a little bit of a line. I don't think I can go much deeper. It would be nice if I could leave a little bit of a line there, but my bearing is gonna to get too deep and I'm gonna lose ground. So I can sand that out without any trouble. I may run that across there again, but uh, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna run these across there. So hang on for the ride here.
the decorative part of the frame done and again nothing really super complicated it just it just takes a little bit of time to put a little decorative type work into it um, when this finishes out this is gonna be pretty I can already see that I can already see that in the works in fact I got it I got to try something here I'm tempted I was going to try to put a little bit of oak finish or a stain on it just to see what it looked like. But I can't find the stain. Huh. What is that? Stains here somewhere. Hmm. Everybody's seeing my dirty, nasty workbench. That's just the way it is. Well, I was going to try to put a little stain on it to see what that did to the wood itself. And that disappoints me that I can't find that stain. And I know it's sitting here somewhere. I know without a doubt it's here. You know how it is. You can't find something when you're looking for it. When you don't want it, it's always right there under your nose. Provincial. That's not it. <laughs> Great. Well, anyway, we'll do it next time. It's here. I'll find it. I'm not going to burn up camera time looking for a, a can of stain. But it is definitely here. But anyway, you can see how I did this. So the next thing I got to do, I got to get these sanded down. And then uh, we're going to put it on the chop saw next time. There's no sense of you uh, seeing all the sanding because I've done that and done that and done it. You just, it's just typical sander. But um, and then when I get ready to cut the angles, I'll show you how we'll do that. And uh, we'll get that back on film, get it back on camera so, so you can take a look at that and see how that works as well. But I'll, I'll take the chop saw and cut the angles on this. And that'll be interesting. Um, that's when it comes to making mistakes. That's where I usually mess up because I get an angle messed up on the end. Uh, and that is real easy to do. Uh, when you're moving this around and you're moving the saw back and forth, you can get it set in the wrong notch. And uh, man, I hope not because if I mess one of these up, then I have to go back and reset my saw to cut the width, to cut the grooves cut everything and it's just it's not the same as when you're set up the first time around so anyhow thanks for joining this evening again this is tinker and bruce have a great evening and the next time uh, i log on why we'll be uh, we'll be cutting the angles have a good evening everyone